How do you know if parts are any good? This question comes from Chuck in Maryland. Maryland, I love that. <laughs> it must be a Maryland. Hey Paul, thanks for your work. My pleasure, sir. I'll be touring your factory in a couple of months, hoping to get something stellar. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, stellar, we love the stellars. And, and you'd be most welcome to tour the factory here. I was wondering a lot of electrical parts, are, are there, uh, how they're rated. If they're dead on to minus five or minus 10%, or how you can get a device to exact specs if the parts aren't exact, I can't imagine going through and measuring every single resistor, wire, tracer, capacitor to make sure they are up to spec. Or do you? That's a great question. And you can only imagine building electronics and all the thousands and thousands of products we make every year. Um, how many thousands and thousands of individual parts go within each of those products, right? There's a lot of them. So how does one know if each of those parts? Well, you touched on it in the first place. We buy parts that are pre-selected for their tolerance. So all of our parts are either 1%, maybe sometimes a tenth of a percent that we buy from the manufacturer and they, they rate them and they grade them just kind of like the same way they do eggs or anything else. I mean, they're kind of graded here. You know, these are 1%, these are 0.1%, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So we, we, we do all of that. But that's only the beginning. So this room is something that, Chuck, if you show up, I, I will personally make sure you get to see this room. Just remind us when you come for your tour. But normally on your tour of PS Audio, you don't get to see this room. This is all behind lock and key, and it's a very large space. I'm only showing you part of it here. And in this room is, and it's under lock and key, because this is where all the parts come for incoming inspection. And there's everything here from, oh gosh, you know, uh, cables and um, I mean you, you can only imagine all the stuff that has to go into this little cables big cables um, circuit boards um, modules um, these are all ESD electrostatic discharge bags so here's here's a what is that that's an input board for Ethernet um, Everything that gets into this room gets 100% inspection before it ever makes it into this room. So the process is when, when we receive, you know, wh whatever it is we're receiving, here's, you know, here's the back of a power plant. All of these boards, well, let's start from the very beginning. So we don't make our cable assemblies you know, all this stuff, right? We don't make any of this stuff. This is all done by CMs, contract manufacturers. They, uh, most of them, uh, like these cables and things are all done locally in Colorado. Most of our boards are done in Kansas, some in California, some in Longmont, Colorado, all, all in the USA. But so we, we go to contract manufacturers and then we specify to that manufacturer Here's the standards you have to meet. And we design these tests, and then each one goes through what's called FST, Final Systems Test. And every, everything from this cable to these, connect, to these uh, boards, wh whatever it is, they all go through this battery of tests before they can pass the contract manufacturer. Then they get shipped to us. Um, well, I don't know where this, this one came from. But come into our dock and they sit out there and then they are taken into another room and each of those is then re-inspected by our team from chassis to boards and we run them through tests and make sure they all pass our tests and that, you know, fox in the hen house, that these guys aren't cheating and for the most part they're not because they just, if they are, <laughs> they get sent back and they have, to, you know, we get a refund. And then finally they get to go into the equipment and from there 
the whole thing is done as a system and tested up to those standards. But anyway, so that's, that's how we do it. We bring it into this special room and everything is stored and kept and then they're put into kits and then the kits go out onto the floor and then they're manufactured and then they get tested. It's, it's a lot of frickin' work, a lot of work, but that's how we ensure that our parts and our assemblies live up to the standards that we demand at PS Audio. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.